Four years ago, I stood before you uh, at convocation. Uh, a lot has changed since then. For example, the explosion in information sharing has dramatically altered the education landscape. While you were at Gettysburg College, for the first time, YouTube reached one trillion playbacks in a single year. Facebook served one trillion page views in a single month. And Google reached one trillion search queries in a single day. That's 140 searches per person per day for everyone on Earth. That's a lot of searches. <laughs> While you were at Gettysburg College, the number of tweets rose to two billion per week, a 10,000% increase in two years, and my students assure me that not a single one of those was from the back row of my non-majors environmental studies class. <laughs> Alan Garber, the president of Harvard, said he guessed that what we in higher education uh, will end up doing in five years will look very different from what we are doing now. Well, that's my guess too. We will figure out a way to harness the information revolution and make Gettysburg College an even better place for learning. We want you to come back year after year as proud alumni and alumni. Four years ago, I spoke to you just a few days after returning from six months in Tuscany, where I was a visiting research scientist at the University of Pisa. I compared Gettysburg College to Italian universities, and I promised you that as a student on this lovely campus, you would enjoy four years of walkable, high-density living, town living, community living on a human scale, something that you can't necessarily do at a big university or online. I said that you would be living together with friends and neighbors close at hand. You would walk down the hall or ac across the quad to work, study, and play with them. And I know that every one of you did. And I said that you would walk into town to socialize. You did that too. And the owners of Mama V's and the pub and the Gary Owen <laughs> Thank you profusely. <laughs> now, here it gets trickier. I said that you would walk into town to volunteer your time and expertise in community service. Did you? I said that Italian university students learn to speak several languages. Did you? I said they traveled widely. Did you? I said that they are far more interested in world events than US students are. The G8 summit is going on right now, just 10 miles from here. What would you tell our world leaders that they don't already know about the collapse of the Eurozone? Anything? Anything at all? What about religious persecution? Climate change? The demise of the Red Sox. <laughs> a anything? I said my hope was that four years at Gettysburg College would liberate you from conventional thinking. Did it? I said my hope was that you would take from us the practical tools and the sense of vision to prosper in an uncertain world. Did you gain those skills? Did you gain that vision? I said that you would acquire the knowledge and power to change the way the world works. Did you? I said that every faculty member, every dining hall worker, every dean, every housekeeper would work for your success. I said that because of them, this was not a sink or swim place. You are here today, so I know that you didn't sink. Are you satisfied with how far you swam? Four years ago, I stood before you and said that this was Gettysburg College. Yes, the Tuscany of South Central Pennsylvania. <laughs> a community of scholars and activists and that we were here to help you make a difference. Why? Because a good teacher teaches the subject, but a great teacher teaches the student. 
Gettysburg College has many great teachers, only some of whom are professors, and they have devoted four years to making each of you a better person. Gettysburg College is part of you now. You have internalized it. Only you can define the Gettysburg College that you are taking away from here. Through your words and actions, you will continue to present your own Gettysburg College to the world long after you leave tomorrow. Your life isn't beginning at commencement. That's a cliche. You've been living your lives for two decades. You're good at it. You're going to get better at it. You're not done swimming. Seniors, I wish you the best of luck. May you leave in peace and love. Thank you.